In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can configure software RAID on Ubuntu server. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to create a VM of Ubuntu server. So it's going to be a test VM. So I'm just going to give it uh, a random ID and I'm using Proxmox for virtualization. And uh, let's say the name test dash raid and then I'm just going to give it a tag linux and then operating system i think i have in this one so yeah i'm using ubuntu 24.4 and next and uh, next so i have different disks so uh, first i'm going to use the storage crucial disk and i'm going to add another one because i'm going to configure our rate so let's go to this one this should be number one this should be number zero so for this one i would use another one let's say uh the backups disk and i'm going to give it 40 gb as well so both are 40 gb so for raid uh, it should be they should be the same in size uh next one i'm going to give it uh let's say two sockets and four cores and ram eight gigs and then network i'm going to select the lan network confirm start once created so it's going to create the virtual machine for me and once it's created it will start and it's just the game of a couple seconds so i'm not i'm not going to pause the video so here you can see the virtual machine is created and it's started so let's go to the console and start the installation so it's uh, going to be in the installation process configuration of raids so just uh, see every single step because sometimes it becomes a uh, very headache if you don't follow all the steps so just be patient and follow the step along or i will also mention all the steps in the description but i was doing this uh in one of the server and i was having a really hard time and then finally i figured out what i was doing wrong so i was like i should create a video on that one so i can remember this for future and my few of subscribers can enjoy and learn something new okay so i'm gonna select uh just a basic thing and continue without update because that's not what we are doing today and i'll just keep network as it is dhcp next next uh just to continue okay so here is the thing where we are going to configure something so if i do use the entire disk so it's just gonna uh use the entire disk and create 40 gb one disk and here you can see uh, I have option to select one of uh, from these two drives. So first one, if you remember, uh, uh, while I was configuring the disks, uh, there was a SCSI 0 and a SCSI 1. So I can select one of uh, those if I want to use the entire disk. And on the other side, uh, it's going to create the uh, LVM. And I can also do... If I'm doing LVM, I can also do the encryption kind of stuff as well. But we are not going to use this method. We are going to use the custom method. So go ahead and press uh, space or enter and then hit enter on done. Okay. So it should show both of the drives. So it will look like it's showing four drives, but actually they are not four. There are two. So it should be in two different, uh, you can consider two different tabs or two different, uh, like in four rows, if I say that correctly. If you have two disks, it should be in four rows. If you have four, it should be like, you can double that. It should be in the eight rows. So first one should say the disk name and second one should be the free space. And same thing with the second drive as well. So what you have to do is to, go to first disk use this as root drive and then on the second one don't go to the free space area just go to the skizzy one 
hit enter and then select use as another boot drive so now these both drives will work as the boot drive so if one of them goes bad or it's failed we will be still able to get our ubuntu server running and in the next video i will uh, teach you if one of the drives goes bad how you can rebuild the raid but in this one we will just create the raid okay after doing that now we are going to uh, create the partition in the free space area so first we created uh, set the boot drive uh, on to the top section where it says hard drive SCSI so whatever is your hard drive name it's going to show up there like Samsung crucial whatever now it's time to set up the partition so we're going to come to the free space hit enter add a G, uh, GPT partition leave this as it is if you want to use uh, the full space and here in the format select leave unformatted and then create do the same thing on the fourth row add new partition uh, gpt partition and then leave unformatted and create now it's time to create the software raid come here and then select this and this and you can see they both are active and unused partition for local disk i'm gonna go ahead and uh hit enter on create okay so now you can see it, there are only two rows now, uh, the four rows are down here even there are more because uh they're showing the bios grub space as well but you can uh, ignore uh the this part here so on the top uh top two rows it says md0 so that's actually raid and uh, it says new unused and free space so i'm gonna go ahead and hit enter on that one but if you read uh, the description on the top to continue you need to mount a file system at slash sign means root so we're going to come here and select format and ext4 and select mount point root not boot or home anything else we're going to select this and ext4 is fine so done and as you can see now the mount point is there uh now you can see i have this done option here so i can go ahead and hit enter on done and are you sure continue continue so uh then after that you'll need to fill this up let's do this do that simply um password don't match okay so i'm just gonna speed up this process okay installation is started so i'm going to pause the video because uh, this can take a couple minutes so once it's installed i'll show you how raid looks like in the uh, terminal okay so the installation has been completed now let's go ahead and reboot we have to press enter to unmount the disk Okay, so let's log in. I think that was the user I did. Okay, so let's log in as root lsplk. So now you can see I have sda and sdb, and sdb2 and sda2 both are mounted as uh, md0, which is RAID 1, what we configured with two disks and it's raid one so raid one definitely you mean if you're watching this video so it means uh you're using two disks but you will get the space of one disk and a uh, one disk will be in the parity so if one disk goes bad you can replace the disk and uh there is another process to 
uh, get the other device working and get it back on uh, the RAID controller uh, to the RAID actually. So yeah, I will create another video for that one. Like if uh, one of the discs goes down, how you can rebuild the RAID. Yeah, for this video, uh, I'm going to say that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.